Barry Chase, a name that resonates with the golden era of Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Whether you're a film enthusiast or a casual observer, one question often arises when discussing this iconic actress. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Barry Chase? With her undeniable talent and timeless appeal, Barry Chase remains an everlasting symbol of the industry. As we delve into the intriguing life of Barry Chase, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's embark on a journey through some fascinating facts about Barry Chase, a remarkable figure who has graced the silver screen for decades, captivating audiences worldwide. Barry Chase, known for her contributions to the entertainment industry, had a notable career that included dancing alongside Fred Astaire on his TV specials. This partnership with the legendary Fred Astaire cemented her reputation as a talented dancer. In addition to her dance career, Barry Chase also guest starred in the title role in the Bonanza episode, The Ballerina, which was written by her brother, Frank Chase. This family connection added a unique dimension to her work in the television industry. As of January 2022, Barry Chase holds a remarkable distinction as the sole surviving cast member of both It's a Mad 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 World and The Flight of the Phoenix. Her enduring presence connects her to two classic films, further highlighting her significance in the history of cinema. Barry Chase's career was marked by her exceptional dancing abilities and her role in iconic TV shows and movies. Her work with Fred Astaire and her family ties in the industry showcase the depth of her contributions to entertainment. This, coupled with her unique distinction as a surviving cast member, solidifies her place in the history of film and television. Barry Chase, known for her role in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, had an interesting journey to the big screen. During the film's 50th anniversary celebrations, she revealed that she was in Sweden when her agent informed her that Stanley Kramer wanted to meet her for a movie role. She initially thought it was just an audition, but flew back to meet him. Surprisingly, Kramer's wife had suggested hiring Barry for the part, making it hers if she wanted it. A chance encounter with a fellow actor on the Sunset Strip led her to adopt a unique approach to her character, playing it as if she were stoned, a technique uncommon at the time. Barry's portrayal of her character's stone state became a standout feature of the film. However, there was a challenge she had never been stoned before and didn't know how to convincingly toke a doobie. A crew member had to provide a quick tutorial on the procedure, and it became the first instance of such an act in a comedy movie. This unique approach allowed her to keep a straight face while Dick Sean's character ricocheted around her and screamed in her ear. Interestingly, the actor who helped her find the character was none other than Steve McQueen. Barry Chase's unconventional take on her role and the amusing backstory behind it made her a memorable part of the film's history. Her performance added a distinctive touch to the movie, showcasing her adaptability as an actress. So, while Barry Chase may not have been stoned in real life, her on-screen interpretation of it remains a noteworthy and humorous aspect of her career, making her a memorable figure in the world of entertainment. Barry Chase, known for her dancing career, made her Las Vegas debut at the condo room of the Sahara Hotel in April 1963. She performed alongside John F. Kennedy impersonator Von Meter, showcasing choreography by Hermes Pan and costumes by Jean Louis. In 1968, after her fourth TV special with Fred Astaire, Barry Chase decided to retire from the performing world. She dedicated her time to her husband, Richard Kaufman, and their son. The Kaufman family later relocated to Venice, California, and took up cycling, embarking on a nine-month cycling tour of Europe. Before her retirement, Barry Chase worked as a Jack Cole dancer and served as Cole's assistant choreographer on MGM films like Less Girls and Designing Woman. Her contributions to the world of dance and entertainment left a lasting impact. Barry Chase, a notable figure in the entertainment industry, made a significant return to the screen in 2020 after a 53-year hiatus. From 1967 to 2020, she had largely retired from film and television. However, her comeback in the movie Leave Em Laughing marked a new chapter in her career. In her earlier years, Barry Chase had faced a pivotal moment when she was initially set to play the role of Claudine in the 1960 film Can Can. 
This opportunity could have made her a star, much like it did for Gwen Verdon in the original Broadway show. But when the studio gave her dance numbers to Shirley MacLaine instead, she chose to walk away from the project. This decision eventually led to her buying out her contract with 20th Century Fox, as she felt her talents were underutilized in the studio. Chase's dedication to her craft was evident even during her career's earlier stages. An interesting anecdote from her time on the set of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World in 1963 reveals her commitment to her appearance. Despite not having danced for a while and carrying some extra weight, she found a way to make it work. Her choice of a specific bikini with fringe and a well-constructed top allowed her to enhance her appearance and provide distraction with the fringe's movement. Barry Chase's story is one of perseverance and talent in the entertainment world. Her return to the screen in 2020 reignited interest in her career, and her earlier experiences in the industry reflect the challenges and choices she faced. It's a reminder of the complexities of show business and the determination of those who navigate its ups and downs. Barry Chase, following her appearance on An Evening with Fred Astaire in 1958, had a golden opportunity to make a name for herself on television. She was offered the chance to do her own special on all three major networks at the time, and Ed Sullivan even wanted to sign her for six appearances on his popular variety show. However, for various reasons, she never pursued any of these opportunities. Interestingly, after the Fred Astaire specials aired in Europe, Barry Chase was flooded with offers to appear on television in several countries, including Sweden, France, Germany, and Italy. Although these appearances wouldn't enhance her American entertainment career since they wouldn't be seen by U.S. audiences, she decided to accept these offers. She had always wanted to travel, and this was the perfect opportunity to explore Europe. During the 1960s, she spent extended periods living in Sweden, immersing herself in the various cultures and atmospheres she found there. In summary, Barry Chase had a chance to shine in American television, but chose a different path opting for European appearances, and a taste of life abroad. This decision provided her with the opportunity to explore new cultures and live in Sweden for a significant period in the 1960s. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the remarkable career of Barry Chase, it's impossible not to feel the reverberations of her talent resonating in our hearts. Her grace, precision, and sheer artistry have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, transcending generations. But now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you've formed with this remarkable artist. Perhaps it's a memory of her electrifying performances, the way her movements seemed to defy gravity, or the infectious joy she brought to the screen. Whether you discovered her in the golden age of television or through the magic of cinema, Barry Chase's legacy has woven itself into the fabric of your own entertainment journey. As we celebrate her enduring impact, we invite you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or reflections on her performances. Let your words be a testament to the enduring power of art and its ability to touch our lives in profound ways. Join the chorus of voices that honor the timeless artistry of Barry Chase. In closing, we extend our deepest appreciation for your time and interest in commemorating the incredible Barry Chase, a luminary in the world of dance and entertainment. Together, we've celebrated the magic she brought to our screens and stages, and for that, we are truly grateful. Thank you for sharing in this tribute to a legendary talent.